video, I will show you how to configure your DVD of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, as a YAM repository. So if you are trying out uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, on your machine just for specific reason, uh, where you can you don't want to use CentOS, which is a free version uh, uh, similar to Red Hat, uh, then you can uh, you probably need a subscription uh, with Red Hat to be able to up get updates uh, or install packages on your Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. So to get around that, you can uh, download the Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, 6 ISO from Red Hat website as a trial version, and then you can uh, use that um, um, DVD as a repository on your machine. So to do that first, you need to uh, mount the disk. So I have a, a VM here, which is running on the VMware Fusion. So uh, I have a VM uh, that is uh, installed with a kind of base Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6.5. I'm just going to mount, connect the uh, DVD, uh, which is connected to the Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux uh, ISO. So, so I have the first. I want to choose the disk. Okay. There you go, I have the uh, ISO here. And then I want to connect this DVD, so it should now be able to, now, should, now I can mount this uh, DVD on my machine. So uh, to do that, I'm just gonna, I have a uh, folder called uh, mount RHEL. So I created this empty folder. If you don't, you can just create any folder. I'll name it similar. Uh, I have this folder created, so why I'm going to mount this DVD. So I'm just going to mount the DVD. Mount. Okay, I'm just going to sudo so that you know, I have admin rights here. So now I should get... Uh, I, so now my DVD is mounted here. So now... Um, now, if I want to install any package, now I have to configure a YAM repository. So, uh, to do that, you go to uh, cd etc yum epos uh, directory here. And by default, you will get a uh, repository file from Red Hat. You can just move that or can modify that file or delete that file or move to somewhere else so that you can really use it. Uh, but in my case, I created a file called rhel65dvs.repo. So I'm just gonna. Uh, so I already created this file so that you can see what it's on, how to uh, configure it. So um, I'm just gonna cat it. Okay. So you can see here. Um, I, I gave it a name. You can give some any other name you like, and then I give it a name for the uh, repository here, and then I'm pointing this repository base URL to my mn slash mnt rhel. So this is the syntax. Uh, so the file columns. Uh, uh, slash 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 uh, mnt slash rhel which is basically my dvd and then i set enabled equals one that means that tells uh, you know the system that this is repository is enabled and uh, gpg check is zero so i don't need to do any gpg check uh, on this so i can just set it to zero so now if i want i can do a yum install packets so for example i want to install expect So now I, I can uh, get the package now. So now it's going to install the expect on my machine from the DVD. There you go. I now have expect. So uh, yeah, so that's that's about it. You can do the same thing with CentOS, but I don't think why you probably need CentOS. Uh, uh, you know, DVD repository where, you know, it's free. You can also use CentOS, uh, you know, YAM repositories. Uh, but uh, and if you ever want to do that, in CentOS, it'll be a similar step. Uh, so just uh, try this. Might be helpful.